All right, guys, it is now time to do the DTF transfer projects from the Time for Wine craft pack. <laughs> So included, you should have received a cute little wine bag. There is also an apron included, and there is a military green t-shirt and the natural t-shirt, as well as your roll of DTF transfers that we are going to use for these. So let's go ahead and cut out these designs so that way once our heat press is ready, we are good to go ahead and start pressing. All right, so there are so many amazing designs on here. In particular, we have three, actually four different shirt designs to choose from, but I think I am going to use the You Had Me at Merlot and the This Wine is Making Me Awesome for our t-shirts. And don't forget that one side gets the little test strip for um, the printers. So we're just gonna make sure to cut that off. So we have, you had me at Merlot and this wine is making me awesome. And for the wine bag, there are also two options for you. There is a, sorry, I can't, I have grape therapy. And then a true friend reaches for your hand and puts a wine glass in it. I think I really, really like this, sorry, I can't, I have grape therapy. I think this is the one I'm gonna use. And there is only one option for our apron, but you guys are gonna love it. This is, I cook with wine. Sometimes I even add it to the food. I am gonna cut off the little bit of extra though, because it's gonna really throw me off when I'm trying to line it up. And these were our other two options for our t-shirt designs. Self-care is never measuring your wine pours. And then there is also, it's time to wine down. All right guys, our heat press is set to 310 degrees and we are gonna go ahead and press some of our amazing designs. So let's start off with our t-shirts and let's do this natural color first. So these designs are gonna go on the front and we are first gonna do a quick like five second pre-press just to remove any moisture and get out any wrinkles. And we are going to use the, this wine is making me awesome design. And we want it to be about three inches from the collar. Kind of line it up. And we're gonna press for about 10 seconds. All right, so you can definitely do a warm peel with these, but since we're in a smaller room and the heat has warmed up the whole room, we're gonna play it safe. We are going to do the cold peel method with these. So you can just flip it upside down on your table, or if you have a glass window or cold wall nearby, that will help cool down your design very quickly. Beautiful. So now we just want to do a quick little second press to really bond the transfer to the shirt. And we really like using something like butcher paper or even um, cut up an old t-shirt that you have. But right now we have a Teflon sheet, so that's what we're going to use. And you just want to give it another 10 second press. All right, and our very first t-shirt is ready to go. All right, next let's do our military green shirt. Now this is one of my favorite colors that the HD cotton shirts come in. And I think it's gonna be beautiful with the colors in the design that we're gonna use. So again, just a quick little pre-press. Okay. And then three inches from the collar. We're gonna use our You Had Me at Merlot. Look how beautiful these colors are. All right. And again, we are gonna play it safe. We are going to pull down our design before we peel. All 
All right, here is right after peeling. So let's give it the second press. Look how beautiful those colors are together. And you can even see where we yet again put our logo on the wine bottle label. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is our cute little wine bag, but you guys know that seams and any kind of strings or anything are gonna cause uneven pressure. So what we're gonna do is we are going to hang off any of these strings and seams off the side. We're gonna give a quick pre-press. And you'll see it change color just a little bit, but don't worry, once it cools back down, it's gonna change right back to the correct color. And we are going to use our, sorry I can't, I have grape therapy. So you don't want it to be all the way at the bottom, nor do you want it to be all the way at the top because the wine bottle is going to fill out the bottom and then you're gonna cinch the top. So you want it about in the middle, maybe a little bit closer to the seams, okay? And again, we're just gonna let it cool down first. Look how cute and adorable this is. So let's give it a quick second press. All right, and here we go. It is so cute and perfect and ready for you to gift your favorite person the next wine that they need to add to their collection. All right guys, and last but not least, we are going to make our apron. So one thing to keep in mind with this apron is that there is the little pocket here for your thermometer or anything that you need to stick in there. So we are just going to lay this right on, make sure the collar piece is hanging off and make sure your strings are not underneath your apron either. And we're gonna give it that quick press. So this one, it doesn't necessarily have to be three inches from the collar because the apron is gonna sit a little bit lower than a typical t-shirt collar would. So just wherever you can place it before it starts coming down off of the little pockets here at the bottom is perfectly fine. And then we are going to press it for its 10 seconds. If you have a pressing pillow or an old t-shirt or towel that you can place under here, that will probably be very helpful um, because of those pocket seams. But we're gonna see if this works without it, okay? All right, and we're gonna very gently lift it off and start cooling down this design. bottom wasn't quite cool enough yet so I just started from a different angle and look how perfect that is so let's give it the second press really quick again make sure all of your strings and the apron collar are off of the press There we go, look how beautiful this is. All right guys, so we are ready for a full wine night in or for our next little get together. And I hope that you guys love each and every one of these projects because I most certainly do. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to us. We are more than happy to help and be on the lookout for these amazing blinks to be on the website soon. Thanks guys, bye.